Hey everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got another great presentation. We're going to continue our lectures on antibiotic, okay? And uh, again, uh, my name is Dr. Premier Chariat. I'm a physician practicing in the United States, program director, internal medicine residency, transitional residency. Also, uh, I'm an associate professor of medicine to large medical schools in the United States. So let's get into our topic. So what is our topic? Uh, last video, we talked about glycopeptide. It's mainly vancomycin, okay? Today's topic is lipoglycopeptide, okay? <clears throat> when we talk about lipoglycopeptide, um, it's similar to vancomycin, but the biggest difference, they got a lipophilic tail attached to it, remember, okay? This lipophilic tail, what does it do? It get the um, drug attached to the bacterial cell membrane and can cause like um, infiltration, cytosolic leak and all that. So it's remember, always try to remember, there's a significant difference between glycopeptide and lipoglycopeptide. Remember the lipo part, lipophilic tail, my friends. Don't forget it, okay? Now, next thing we have to look at is the mechanism of action. What is the mechanism of action? Um, just like vancomycin, this um, uh, this drug attached to the DLA, D-alanine um, terminus of the pentapeptide, five hydrogen bonds with the peptide, backbone of the glycopeptide, prevent the transpeptidation. Always remember that word, okay? Examination purpose, they will ask, well, how does it work? Prevent the transpeptidation, and eventually it's going to have affect the peptidoglycan synthesis, which is very, very important for the bacteria, for the cell wall. Okay, now, this other two drug, telvancine and oritavancine, got some other properties. What do they do? Direct disruption of the bacterial cell membrane, they cause this pore formation, and the cytosolic contents could be leaked out. Those two, those are the two mechanisms we just need to remember. Okay, now the next thing we have to look at is the coverage. How does it work? Like uh, we have our um, usual table, gram positive, gram negative, and anaerobic. Mainly this is gram positive only, okay? When we talk about gram positive, these drugs are made to, especially because of the MRSA, methylene resistant staph aureus. So methylene resistant staph aureus, staph epidermis, streptococcus viridians, strep pneumonia, and some enterococci. Okay, when we talk about the gram negative, there is no gram negative, my friend. Don't forget that. Now, anaerobes, it got the gram positive anaerobes only, not gram negative. Okay, now let's look at the three drugs we talk about dalbovancine. Dalbovancine, how did, what's the dosage of dalbovancine? You got 1.5 grams, you get one dose followed by 500 milligrams single dose later. Okay, so, and then renal failure, if the creatinine clearance is less than 30, use 1.25 grams single dose only. Most of this is dosage is only like single. Now, telavancine, you got 10 milligram per kg once daily in renal failure. You give, if the creatinine clearance is between 30 to 50, you get 7.5 milligram per kg daily. Um, and if the creatinine clearance is less than 30, 10 milligram Q48 hours, okay? And then oritavancine, 1.2 gram times one dose, renal failure, no adjustment needed, okay? Now, we look at all of this thing can cause red man syndrome, which is uh, just like vancomycin. But, um, I mean, only the question you need to know, this is not an allergic reaction, okay? The examination purpose, they might ask this question. Don't consider this is not an allergic reaction. And how do you prevent it? You give like slow infusion of the drug, okay? The other thing, you know, telavancine can cause QT prolongation, metallic taste in the mouth, and all the other, I mean, it can cause headache. That's very important, QT prolongation. And when you talk about or orintovancine, the structure, in addition to the lipophilic tail, they got like a sugar uh, molecule attached to the peptide, okay? Remember that. Let's go take a look. One more shot behind and review one more time. Lipoglycopeptide and glycopeptide class belong to vancomycin, lipoglycopeptide. <coughs> The same structure of vancomycin, you got this lipophilic tail, 
three drugs we need known, dalbovancine, telovancine, and oritavancine, and mechanism action, the attached D-alamine, D-alamine terminus, 5-hydrogen bone with the uh, peptide backbone, prevent transpeptidation, remember that. And telovancine, oritavancine, disrupt the bacterial cell membrane and the leakage of the content salt. And remember, the coverage, MRSA is the word I want you to remember. No gram-negative coverage, but gram-positive anaerobic coverage is there. Dalgovancine, telovancine, remember, telovancine can cause QT prolongation, metallic taste in the mouth, or telovancine, well, no renal failure, I mean, dosage is needed. Um, all of this can cause Redman syndrome. Remember one more time, it's not an allergic reaction. Slow infusion is the key. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. God bless.